In this video, I will share with you the common symptoms of a bad MAF sensor and how it affects your car's performance. Let's jump right in. The MAF or mass airflow sensor is an integral part of modern internal combustion engines. Its primary job? Gauging the volume of air making its way into the engine. You might wonder, why is this so significant? This data is essential for the engine control module or the ECM to calculate the required fuel amount to keep the air to fuel ratio at an optimum level. But there's more. The MAF sensor also dictates emissions. By ensuring a perfect air to fuel ratio, it allows the catalytic converter to function efficiently, thus reducing harmful emissions. Plus guaranteeing the correct air to fuel mixture, the MAF sensor enhances your car's performance and fuel efficiency. So in summary, the MAF sensor is a key player in your vehicle's engine. There are three common mass airflow sensors used in vehicles. First up, we have the hot wire MAF sensors, a common choice for many manufacturers. Picture a hot wire maintained at a steady temperature, placed right in the path of the incoming air. As the air flows over this wire, it cools down and the sensor measures the current required to keep the wire at the constant temperature. This current directly correlates to the mass of air flowing past the wire. Next, we have hot film MAF sensors. They operate similarly to the hot wire sensor, but instead of a wire, a thin film is used. This film is integrated into the sensor's body, making it less sensitive to contamination and damage. Lastly, we have the vane airflow sensors. This older design has a spring-loaded door or vane that moves with the incoming air, changing the resistance in an integrated potentiometer, which the ECM then translates into a measurement of air volume. Understanding the type of MAF sensor in your car is crucial in identifying any potential problems. So, how can you tell if your MAF sensor is going bad? Well, there are several signs to look out for. For starters, you might notice that your engine idles roughly or even stalls. This is often due to an incorrect air-to-fuel mixture causing the engine to misfire. You might also experience reduced power, making your vehicle feel sluggish during acceleration. A decrease in fuel efficiency is another common symptom. This is because the MAF sensor plays a crucial role in determining the right air-to-fuel ratio. A malfunction can lead to a richer or leaner mixture, both of which can decrease fuel efficiency. If your check engine light illuminates, it could be the ECM detecting a problem with the MAF sensor. Other signs include engine hesitation or stalling during acceleration, black smoke from the exhaust, difficulty starting the vehicle, or pinging and knocking noises from the engine. Lastly, your onboard diagnostics might throw a lean or rich code. These symptoms can indicate a problem with your MAF sensor, but it's always important to get a professional diagnosis to be sure. Remember, a faulty MAF sensor can significantly affect your car's performance. This little device plays a major role in your engine's operation, from determining the ideal air-to-fuel ratio to emissions control and even improving overall engine performance and fuel efficiency. It's imperative to understand its importance and how different types of MAF sensors work, whether it's a hot wire or hot film MAF sensor or the older vane air flow sensor. But what's even more crucial is recognizing the signs of a faulty MAF sensor. Symptoms like a rough idle, reduced power, decreased fuel efficiency, or the dreaded check engine light can all point towards a malfunctioning MAF sensor. More severe symptoms can include engine hesitation, black smoke from the exhaust, hard starting or pinging and knocking noises from the engine. Don't ignore the signs. If your MAF sensor is showing symptoms of malfunction, get it checked out immediately. Your car, the environment, and your wallet will thank you.